It's the spectacular Las Vegas dream house that Michael Jackson had hoped to turn into a new Neverland. Like Neverland, this house hides a network of secret passages and panic rooms that the eccentric king of pop was drawn to. Look in the wine cellar. There's a secret door hidden in the wall. This is the entry. You can see how thick this door is. Just inside the secret door, a hidden escape tunnel. There is about two feet of concrete on both sides of us, so it's a completely safe room. Realtor Zara Zangane gave Michael Jackson and his three children a tour of the mansion in 2007. As they explored the network of secret passages, they were shocked to see this. We have a full steel door, bulletproof. An underground shooting range. Jackson had no interest in learning how to use a gun. He wanted to turn the shooting range into a clandestine recording studio. This would have been Michael's recording studio with a mixing board room in here for a producer to work with. The network of underground tunnels is filled with hidden panic rooms and doors that don't even look like doors. So this is another neat safety feature Michael loved about the home. In case you're being chased in the property or somebody's following you, you have a security pin here that you enter and a secret door would open which takes you into the panic room and to your recording studio underground. One of the secret tunnels exits directly into the 20 car garage. So you can say Jackson could have made a quick getaway. And if he didn't want to take off by car, he could have fled by horse. That's right, another feature of the estate that's eerily similar to Neverland, a horse barn. And get this. This is the doggy hotel. It's indoor, outdoor space. They have kennels with air conditioning. Michael was hoping to make enough money during his London tour to pay the $25 million price tag for this spectacular estate, a home he and his kids had fallen in love with. When the kids walked in here, Little Blanket told uh, Michael, he said, Daddy, Daddy, we found the house. We're buying this house. And Michael just started laughing because it literally had everything they were looking for. The sprawling 10-acre Las Vegas estate has it all, down to a movie theater, complete with luxurious leather chairs and popcorn served in decadent champagne glasses. We have a 125-inch uh, projection screen. Realtor Zar Zangane gave Michael Jackson and his three children a tour of the luxury estate in 2007. He says Jackson's children fell in love with the breathtaking swimming pool. It comes complete with its own water slide that turns into a tunnel and empties into the pool. And get this, if you walk through this cave, there's a secret play area tucked underneath the waterfall. It's built like something out of the Flintstones. It's all part of the rock formation you see around the pool. A spectacular 20-car garage comes with its very own 1950s-style gas pumps. The house has 19 bathrooms and 10 bedrooms, and this would have been the King of Pops bedroom, with wall-to-wall -wall leopard print carpet, a fireplace, and in the bathroom, Jackson would have had his very own barber chair. He said, I just love this. This is perfect, and I'd actually use it. <laughs> Check out the great room. The snack bar has its own cappuccino machine, and it even has a room just for tasting cheese. The wine cellar is fully stocked and to die for. Jackson wanted to rename the estate Wonderland. He planned on making it his new Neverland. He hoped his upcoming London tour would give him the money to buy his dream home, but his dream died with him. We're going mansion hunting with Michael Jackson. Coming up on E.T., his multi-million dollar house tour. And that giant pool? You can't beat it. The insider was flying over the Palm Beach area checking out this massive mansion on the shore when all of a sudden, there was Michael playing a little game of peekaboo. Since recent reports suggest that Michael's been house hunting in the Sunshine State, the insider wondered if this exclusive coastal estate near South Florida's Boynton Beach was on his shopping list. Local realtors say the price on this house could run between $25 and $30 million. And while it doesn't have the expanse of Neverland, it does feature a beautiful swimming pool, a guest house, and plenty of oceanfront property. The area is known for great scuba diving, should Michael decide to take that up, and he would have his choice of several nearby golf courses. One area estate agent hears that Sylvester Stallone's also said to have taken a look at the mansion. So if this is where Michael plans to hang his red baseball cap, once he takes it away from his face, of course, he may want to hurry up and close this deal.